You ever want to know how to connect multiple cameras or webcams to one computer and use all of them in StreamYard as a multi-camera shoot? That is the line from one of my most popular YouTube videos. It's right there on the screen, 12,000 views. But here's the thing. It also has the most comments on it as well. And in a lot of those comments, a lot of you have expressed frustration over sound issues and not quite understanding what exactly I'm doing in that process. So in this video, we're gonna answer that question. We're gonna walk through that process methodically and we're gonna show you some tips and tricks of how not to have that echo or the sound issue when you're using StreamYard as a multi-camera switcher. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. How, how, how it all works. Come on. So here we are in StreamYard. I've created a studio called Multicamera, and that's just for us to be able to uh, do some demonstrations here. And so as I showed before, you come into the studio, enter Broadcast Studio, as you normally do. Everybody's familiar with this screen by now. Here I am connected, and I'm going to call this Camera One. And honestly, this is just a, a hack. You, do, you can call them anything you want, but in your in your studio when you have all your cameras in it'll be good if you name them all correctly and then go in and turn off uh, the names uh, show display names in in the system but before you leave this screen you want to come here to cam mic of course select one of the many cameras that you have and so there are many there uh, you want to select those but then you also want to go to audio and make sure that your speaker is set to something that you can mute so if you have an old set of speakers around the house, plug it up to your computer and turn the volume all the way down or turn it off if you can, preferably a set of speakers that can do that. And then just go ahead and click test. If you don't, if you hear anything when you click test on this, that means something is not set up right. So this is the place to make sure you check uh, whether or not you're gonna get that echo. So now I wanna be clear here. On one of the tabs, you will want to have your audio turned on on your primary mic, whatever that is, selected so that you are being able to be heard in your stream. So let's just be clear on that part. So let's say in this case, for this particular uh, instance, I'm going to use this microphone and this is the speaker that I'm going to use and I can turn that microphone, all, that, that speaker all the way down because I don't need to really hear anybody and I don't want to get that echo. So this is all set and ready to go. I can come out of this, enter the studio, and now I've got one camera in the studio. One camera in, a couple more to go. Um, for the purposes of our example, I'm gonna add another in two different ways. So we're gonna come back here, open another tab, go back to StreamYard, enter the exact same studio, um, only this time, we're going to select the FaceTime camera, camera that is on, built into my laptop. So come here again, FaceTime, it's the camera we're selecting. That's the camera there. Perfect. So go back to audio again, select the speaker, make sure that that speaker is selected, hit the test button. We don't hear anything. We know we're in the right, we're on the right track. We're doing the right thing. So, uh, you can also see my sound level here in, in the microphone, so clearly I'm good here. But when I come back to this screen, what I'm gonna do differently on this one is that I'm gonna actually mute camera two's microphone because I only need one microphone going into the system and I definitely don't need to hear anything, especially if I'm doing a full uh, screen switch with StreamYard. So now enter the studio. We've got two videos in the studio. Um, and just for the purposes of our example, I'm going to keep these two here. But what I'm also going to do is click on the invite button, copy to clipboard this invitation, and I'm going to go in to open a incognito window. So here I'm opening an incognito window and I'm going to paste in that invitation and I'm going to join my studio as a guest. 
So here it's going to come up. It's going to ask me, do I allow mic cam access? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to allow. So here we are. We're using the same camera as we were before. I'm going to call this camera three. If I can type. <laughs> camera three is what we are. I can enter the broadcast studio. Remember here I'm as a guest. So I just want to mute this. Um, and here's the real quick clincher, right? If you don't have something, a, 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 an audio destination, right? If you don't have a set of speakers that you can mute, then you want to open an incognito tab and do those same steps. Doesn't matter which speaker you select at that point, but what you can do in an incognito tab is you can come up here, right click on the tab. This is a Chrome function and feature. Then you can click on mute site. When you do that, then that site in incognito is muted. Now, why do we do that in incognito? Because in if you were to mute it in the regular Chrome browser, it would mute all StreamYard tabs and that would also mute your tab and that would not be good, especially if you had guests in your live stream that you absolutely need to hear. So because we don't want to do that, we want to come into incognito, bring up this thing as a guest, same computer, same uh, cameras you have available and then mute the site and and then just you know of course once you close it out it'll it'll be unmuted we come back to this screen and here i'm back in as the producer that's where i can see everything i can see all of the different things that i need to see here and i have three cameras in here of course two of them are the same but i can add them all to the stream i can make them full one of them, just one of them, you see here, camera one, um, I'm gonna have to go to that tab. Let's go to camera one. Here is it. This tab here is unmuted, but you're not hearing me. You're not hearing an echo. Of course, you're not on the other side of StreamYard, but you get the point. This is a enabling me to have all of my cameras in the system and be able to do a full camera switch. So I can switch between the different cameras here. Let me show you one more thing that you want to make sure you have selected under your brand tab. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom and see where it says show display names here. You want to make sure that that is off. You want to make sure that that is off uh, because that uh, if, if it's not off, then you're going to see cam one, cam two, cam three in your stream and, and you, you don't want that. So we want to make sure that that is off so that it's just a full camera switch. If you have a lower third of some sort, maybe something custom you can you could just leave that on screen and then you can just switch between them um i was having some trouble with some of my webcams but i'm going to show you real quick right here how i connected them which ones worked and didn't work because i didn't have a powered usb hub i highly recommend getting a powered usb hub and in, if you're going to do this, especially if you have four and five cameras that you want to do. So let me show you that real quick and then I'll show you the wrap up. So here we are in my office. You're getting a behind the scenes view. My laptop, it's a new MVP with the M1 chip. Right next to it on my iPad is one of the webcams. Up top here on this monopod is a Logitech C920. Then, of course, we have the built in webcam in the laptop. Here's an HP webcam and another unknown webcam. Um, and of course you have my DSLR connected to a capture card. All of them are connected to this hub. All of the webcams are connected here. And then that hub is connected here. So this is the capture card. And then this one is the Logitech C920. And that's pretty much it. That's how it's all connected. So here we are back on the on the computer. I have connected four different cameras to my system. One of them is the camera that I'm using right here, but there are three others that were able to work. Unfortunately, two of the others that I tried um, just aren't working. And I'm assuming that it has to do with the USB hub scenario. And if you have a powered USB hub, that will work better for you. So here you've got four different cameras on screen. I'm going to add all of them now. That gives me all four of them. And of course, you know, that's not necessarily a view that you would want to show anyone if you are actually doing something. 
Um, what you would want to do, however, is to do a full camera switch. And so this is showing different angles of me on four totally separate cameras connected to the same system, connected into StreamYard, and I'm able to stream with this now. And you can see, um, unlike before, these cameras are keeping up with me. And for the most part, you're not seeing a lot of lag, not seeing a lot of latency, because this computer that I have is far more powerful than the one I used originally. So there you have it. I, I hope that you know we were able to clear up some of those things. The main thing to think about is um, the two different options here. One, if you're gonna bring in multiple cameras um, in different tabs for StreamYard, you're gonna want to make sure your output, your sound output, your speakers are set to something that you can turn all the way down and then use that test button as your cheat code. If you are hearing anything when you click that test button, you know you're gonna have an echo when you go to stream. Uh, the other way of doing it, especially if you only have one or two, is to go into an incognito tab as a guest. Use the guest link from your, from your studio, go into an incognito tab, and then add those other cameras in there as guests, and then just right click on it and mute that tab. That is a Chrome function, that's a Chrome feature that Google has added. It's really cool. But you got to be careful with it because if you uh, mute, it in, mute a site in a general Chrome session, not an incognito session, every time you go back to that site, it will be muted. So you want to keep that in mind. That has actually plagued me once or twice uh, from muting stuff and then coming back and trying to figure out why am I not getting any audio. So keep that in mind as well. Hopefully that somewhere in the video today you were able to, you know, have that light bulb go on. We're so glad that we can actually revisit um, some videos that we did, you know, four or five months ago and be able to add more detail, add more steps so that it can be a little clearer um, how to do it successfully. Let us know in the comments if this is helping you out. Let us know in the comments if there are other videos that you really want us to kind of go back over and provide some more value, provide some more detail um, and then be specific with us in terms of what pieces you'd like to see. Uh, it's your boy Kirk Nugent, Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. Take the journey with us and subscribe. Smash that like button and hit the bell as well because we have new content and we will be going live every Monday at 5.30 Central Standard Time, 6.30 in the East, 3.30 in the West with our How It All Works live show where we have guests from multiple disciplines and backgrounds and expertise sharing with us their perspective on life and on tech and on media. And it's, it's such a, a great a community that is building around that live show. Um, glad that we, you've been with us and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. How, how, how it all works. <laughs>